Hello, everybody, and welcome to No So Costumes. My name is Tanisha with Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library, and I'm joined here with Meg from Creative Arts Theater. Meg, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. All right, so as we like to do with our library programs, we're gonna go ahead and jump into our book shout out. Today, we have two books for you. Um, they're available on our online ebook platform, uh, Libby by Overdrive. So we have a book that can help you create some really, really awesome math. And we also have a really fun picture book for you called Monster Needs a Costume. So if you want to learn a little bit more about enhancing your costumes or read a really fun book, we have those for you. So Meg, we're going to go ahead and show that video. Do you have any thoughts before we go ahead and get into the video? No, just keep those imaginations open. All right, awesome. So sit back, relax, and enjoy and learn how to make some no sew costumes. Hello, and welcome to the No Sew Costume Workshop presented by Creative Arts Theater, the city of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. My name is Meg, and today we are going to be building two easy, affordable costumes for Halloween. And there's no sewing machine in sight. At Creative Arts, we often create our costumes without sewing, and we also use unconventional materials to create unique designs. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first costume we're going to build is the skeleton. This costume is easy to assemble and is perfect for both children or adults. The kids could even help put it together. Here is what you'll need. A black top and bottom, white or glow-in-the-dark duct tape, scissors, and a tape measure. The first step is to figure out how long your pieces of tape need to be. Ask the person wearing the costume to put on the black top and bottom. Next, measure from the center front of the top to the belly button. From just off center of the chest to the armpit. From the mid shoulder to just before the elbow from just below the elbow to the wrist, from the hip crease to just before the knee, and from the ankle to just below the knee. Be sure to write all of the measurements down. Now it's time to cut and assemble. I'm going to start with the spine. the ribs. I'm doing four on each side. Now the arms. Okay, let's talk about the pelvis. Take two pieces of tape of equal size and place them near the top of the pants. Then cut the corners on the top like this. and then cut an upside down V in the middle. Great. Now the leg bones. Placing the tape could even be something that you and your child do together. Have the person wearing the costume try it on and adjust any tape lengths that seem off. And now you're done. Finish off the look with some fun makeup. The nice part is that the tape can be easily removed and there is no damage to the original items of clothing. In total, this costume costs less than $30. 
and that includes both the top and bottom. Up next is the cardboard dinosaur. How adorable is this? To make the dinosaur, you will need the following supplies. Three cardboard boxes, two small ones for the head, and one rectangular one for the body. You will also need scrap cardboard for the scales. Spray paint in the color of your child's choice for the scales and body. White foam for the teeth and eyes. Scissors, a knife to cut the cardboard and foam board. Duct tape, a black marker, and a hot glue gun. First, you want to find a well-ventilated area and spray paint each side of your flattened cardboard boxes. Allow each side to dry before painting the other side. We needed two cans of spray paint for this. Next, you're going to cut out the scales. I'm using a box cutter to do this, so no kids allowed. Freehand one giant scale, one medium, and one small scale. Cut these out and use them as templates for the rest. Feel free to get creative on how you plan to arrange the scales. Spray paint both sides of the scales and allow to dry. Next, cut out the teeth on the white foam board. Similar to the scales, draw out two different sizes of teeth and use them as templates for the rest. I'm also using a box cutter to cut out the teeth, so be careful with little fingers and hands. Lastly, using the foam board, cut two ovals for eyes. Use a black marker to create pupils. Now the fun part, assembly. For the body, tape down the front and back flap. Then tape the box shut at the top from the inside with duct tape. Cut out a neck hole. And two arm holes. Adjust the length of the box as needed, based on your child's height. Every box is different. The box I'm using for the bottom headpiece needs a bit of trimming in order for the flaps to stay hidden. I'm trimming half of the flaps off completely and tucking the remaining flaps inside. For the box for the top of the head, I'm trimming off two flaps in order to tape the box closed from the inside. Tuck or secure all remaining flaps inside. You may need to trim them a bit in order for them to stay. Depending on your box, you may need to tape it and paint over the tape to achieve a finished look. Now, glue one flap down so it hinges with the other box. This is where we're going to need your child's creativity. Ask your child where they would like to place each tooth and glue in place. Next, glue the eyes in place.
finally, place the scales and glue them securely. Ask your child what scale sizes they would like placed where. Scales can go on the head, neck, and down the back, or wherever your child feels inspired to put them. And you're done. Get ready for all of the cute Halloween pictures. Your child may even want to play in their dino costume well past Halloween. The cardboard dinosaur costs roughly $20, but you may be able to use items you already have around the house. I hope this workshop has inspired you to get creative this Halloween and make your own no-sew costume. Pinterest is also a great resource for more affordable and creative ideas. And don't forget to check out the tip sheet and stick around for the Q&A. Hey, welcome back. We really hope that you enjoyed how to learn to make some no-sew costumes. That was a wonderful video. I just learned a whole lot about how to make some really fun costumes. And so we do have some questions that people had about how to make costumes. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the question section. So do you, um, what are your go-to supplies for creating no-sew costumes? Great question. Uh, I think that magical things can happen with cardboard. Uh, as you saw in the video, we created an entire dinosaur that was primarily constructed out of cardboard boxes. I think that the costume possibilities are endless with cardboard. It's inexpensive. It can be shaped and cut and all sorts of exciting things. So I would say cardboard. I would also say if you are working with fabric and do not want to sew, they do make a product that is iron on and it creates kind of a bond. If you'd like to attach something to a shirt or a pair of pants, you can iron it on. It's like an iron on adhesive. Uh, that's another really easy and affordable uh, tool to avoid that sewing machine. Uh, and then what else? I mean, tape is your friend. You can duct tape. Duct tape comes in so many different colors and styles and patterns, and it can be utilized, as you saw, to make an entire skeleton costume, really. Um, and it was just tape, uh, and I employed the same tape to help construct the dinosaur. So I think tape is a really um, valuable material as well. Anything that helps you connect two different materials, um, will make your building task or your construction task easier and keeps those possibilities, you know, open. Awesome, thank you. And I really appreciate those tips because I personally do not like to sew. So it's always nice to know <laughs> ways to con uh, connect things and make it easier to put things together without a sewing machine. Uh -huh. Next question we have is what is your favorite or most creative um, costume, no sew costume you've made? Oh, no, so honestly, I love that dinosaur, although that was a recent addition to the creative arts costume uh, supply closet. Uh, at creative arts, honestly, we do a lot of sewing. We also do a lot of modification. So we'll take an item that we find at Goodwill, let's say, or online, and we'll change it around. We might rip it up. We might take sleeves off. Sometimes that requires sewing. Sometimes it doesn't. And a lot of our costumes are just um costume or items of clothing um that you would find anywhere and what makes it a costume is the way that we piece it together and so for example um a pair of overalls and a t-shirt can be an easy base costume for a lot of different types of characters and so you may have some great pieces already in your wardrobe or closet uh, that don't require any sewing. It's just a matter of finding the pieces that, in the end, we want those pieces to tell the story of that character. Ooh, that's good. And speaking of that really awesome dinosaur that you made, which is now one of my personal favorite, like homemade Halloween costumes, how long did it take you to put that uh, dinosaur together? Well, there's a lot of dry time. Um, and so part of that, nothing's really happening. I mean, you can cut out, there's also a lot of teeth uh and there were a lot of scales so the cutting and the painting took some time i also made it for me so in the video i'm the one running around the park wearing the dino costume <laughs> you 
it was made for a child, it would be smaller in scale. And so I don't think it would have taken quite as long because you wouldn't use boxes that size or you wouldn't have that many teeth. Um, I would say in total, and we were also filming at the same time, probably took like four to five hours. So not that it could definitely be done in one day. Um, it's just waiting for the paint to dry. And we were lucky enough to have kind of a warm, dry day. So things dried pretty quick outside. We also discovered, and it's in the tip sheet, um, that we had some printing on our cardboard boxes. And whenever you have printing, it's going to require multiple coats of paint. And so that took up a little bit more time too. But I'd say you could easily get it done in about four to five hours. Oh, so that's a good weekend project right before, you know, if you need a costume for anything, it's perfect for that. And thank you, Meg, for mentioning the handout. So there is a tip sheet available for you. It'll be available in the description. So definitely take a look at that if you're interested in making some no-sew costumes. So before we go and as we wrap things up, we just have a few things for you. Of course, if you need to contact the library for in any way by phone, email, text, chat, however you'd like, we got our contact information there. Also, if you'd like to see what else the library has going on as far as programs and events, you can check out our events calendar there as well. And if you would like to learn more about what the Creative Arts Theater is doing out in the community, we have a link for them too. They are awesome. We always love when the Creative Arts Theater joins the library for events. So thank you so much, Meg, for joining us and teaching us a lot about how to make some no-sew costumes. Well, you're welcome. It was a super fun project for me as well. All right, bye everybody.